for discussion of measurement using inches and feet. And we're on lesson 8.9, page 433 of the second grade gold math textbook. We're also going to introduce the concept of a line plot in today's lesson. But first, let's go ahead and review measuring with an inch ruler. So All right, so go ahead and measure the three uh, pieces of yarn on our on this page to the nearest inch. So make sure you're lined up with zero. It look like my first one is about five inches. The next one's going to be less than five. And I would call that two inches. This next one's in between probably three, maybe four inches, three inches. Okay, all right. So now we're going to apply that concept of measuring things to create a line plot. So a line plot is a way to show data. On this line plot, each X stands for the length of one pencil in inches. So the length of pencils in inches, there's one pencil that is five inches long. There are two pencils that are six inches long. There are three pencils that are seven inches long. One pencil that is eight inches. There aren't any pencils that are nine inches. There's one pencil that is 10 inches and one pencil that is 11. Okay, so then we can answer this question. How many pencils are just six inches long? So we go to six and we look, count the number of X's above it. So two, right? All right. So now you get five books. And they can be your textbooks, reading books, um, any books in the classroom. Okay. So find five. And I'm going to go ahead and use a math book. And we're going to measure the length of these objects. Okay. So go ahead and measure the length of five objects to the nearest inch. All right, so it looks like this one's 11 inches. Okay, my second book, I'm going to use my plan book. And that's also 11 inches. My third book, I'm trying to teach myself how to program. And so... This one is mm, just short of nine and a half. I'm going to go ahead and call it nine inches. Fourth book, it's just a book I've been reading. And it's, I'm going to call that seven inches long. And my fifth book is a book of music. Okay, and it is almost exactly a foot so i'm going to say 12 inches all right so after you've measured your five books we're going to write a title for the line plot okay the title for our line plot is basically what are we doing okay and so our title would be length of book in inches okay so basically is the what, what were you measuring okay in this case we're measuring five books right all right so my smallest one was seven so i do have to have seven and we're supposed to count forward so i might actually have to add to my line plot may may have to make it longer eight nine ten eleven i'm going to have to go out one more line to fit twelve Okay, so what choose find your smallest object that you measured. That's going to go here on the left. Then count by ones until you get to the largest item you measured. All right, so do I have any that are seven? Yes, I had one book that was seven inches long. Eight inches. No, I don't see any eight. So I'm not going to put anything. Okay, nine. I do, did have one book that was 9 inches long, 10 inches. I don't have any books that are 10. But 11, there were two books 
two books that were 11 inches, and then one book that was 12. Okay, so you notice we have five X's, one, two, three, four, five, which makes sense because we measured five books. Okay, so keep in mind that the numbers here going across are not the number of books. They're the length of the book. Okay, so books that are seven inches, books that are eight inches, and so on. Okay, all right, let's go to page 435. All right, so on page 435, I need you to find five pencils, and I want you to measure them to the nearest inch. Okay. All right. So I'm going to say my first one is less than seven and a half, so I'm going to say seven inches. We're measuring to the nearest inch. My second pencil. is also going to be, okay, it's closer to seven than it is to eight, so seven inches again. Okay, this pencil, the third pencil I'm measuring is past five and a half, so I'm gonna go ahead and say six inches. Okay, my fourth pencil is just past five, so we're going to call that five inches. And my fifth pencil is just past four and a half, which means it's actually closer to five, so I'm going to put five. All right, so what's our title? The lengths of pencils in inches again, right? Just like we did on the last page. Length of pencils in inches. All right, so now find the smallest size and count forward. Okay, so our smallest, my smallest one was five, six, seven. I can go ahead and say eight and nine on this one. Okay, or I could have said three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, because I don't have any that are eight or nine. In other words, I only have four different numbers this time. Okay. All right. Actually, I only have three different numbers, right? Five, six, seven. Five, I have two. Six, I had one. And seven, I had two. Okay. Simple as that. Okay, so I didn't have any pencils that were larger than seven inches. All right, find five crayons, and we're going to do the same thing. Measure them to the nearest inch. All right, so my first crayon is less than three and a half. Remember, this mark in between is half. So it's uh, exactly three and a half. I'm going to go ahead and call it four. Okay, the next one's also four. The next one's also four. This one is just short of two and a half. Uh, it's exactly two and a half. I'm going to say three. Okay, okay, so we actually were only measuring four crayons. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and say one, two, three, four for my line slot. I'm going to say length of crayons in inches. All right, so I have three that are four inches, and I have one that is three inches. Again, the number of X's should count how many things were measured or counted. All right, number six. All right, number six, we're going to use the data that's in the, the table. And so our title is lengths of ribbon in inches. Okay, and our numbers are five, six, seven. So you notice we only have three numbers. So five, six, seven. 
All right, how many fives do I have? I only have one five. So I have one ribbon that is five inches long. I have two ribbons that are six inches long. And I have one ribbon that is seven inches long. Okay. And finally, number seven. Sarah made a line plot to show the data about the lengths of leaves. Is Sarah's line plot correct? Tell why or why not. Okay, so she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven leaves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So she has seven X's, so that's possible. Lengths of leaves in inches, that's right. Let's see, she's got one, two, three leaves that are four inches. Oh, so no. Her line plot's not right. How about five? Yeah, she only has... So, so let's do this. Three, four, five, six. Let's make a tally chart out of her information. How many threes do you see in this table? One. All right. So let's make one tally mark. How many fours do you see? I see one, two, three. One, two, three. How many fives? One, two. How many sixes? I only see one. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So she should have one, three. That's good. She should have three fours. So, no, the fours aren't right. On the five, she should only have two X's. And on the six, she should have one. Okay, so is she right? Is her line plot right? No. She has only two X's above four when it should be three. And she has three X's above five when it should be two. Okay. So no, Sarah's line plus not correct. She has only two X's above four when it should be three. And she should only have two X's above five. Okay. All right, so that's it for our discussion of um, displaying measurement data using a line plot. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.